everybody, how's it going? Stoner Griffin here, and welcome back to more Sonic Frontiers. So last time, we were trying to clean up more of the mess around here, and we're going to be trying to finish that up so that we can finally go on to the next area. So there's still a lot of more map pieces to cover, a lot of side story stuff. We still got to do the fishing spot. So I'm going to try my best to get as much of that cleaned out as I can. So we're going to start with just the map pieces. I'll be back to you when I get to those various spots. Okay, so here's the first one that I found. So I'm trying to figure out how do I do this. Uh... Hmm. Oh. Oh, I think I think I get it. I have to put them out in a certain order, right? So maybe if I do this. Yep, so that's one. Two. Three. And whoa. <laughs> you speed up and four and then finally five. And that should have done it. Right, so now with the map revealed on that end, it should allow us to see more of what's left. Let's see. There's a missing Coco, and we have yet to find the fishing spot for Bing, which I really want to do. I really want to find out uh, what uh, I can find there. So, alright, off to the next map piece. Okay, so this isn't actually the one that I found, but it is the one that was nearby. So, again, it was on our to-do list anyway, so we're going to be doing it now. So I think if we go this, nope. Okay, I think I got. It. Oh my gosh, Sonic, come on! Right, uh, nope. Hmm, think, 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 think. Ah, there we go. I got it. Okay, just that took a little bit of thinking to do, but it wasn't too hard. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, so this one's a time town, so I do a hundred damage. Or how many hits is it? Or was it- oh yeah, it was do damage, so do a hundred damage and you win. Okay, that was pretty easy. Alright, here's the next one, so it's an hourglass challenge. I don't know what specifically- it oh, it's another ring challenge, okay. So... How? Oh, whoa. I better be careful. Maybe I should take my time with this one. Alright. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, oh, whoa! Go to the ring! Jeez, Sonic. Okay. Okay. Whew. Uh, uh, gave me a lot of time. I was worried it was going to go for a very long time. Like, it's uh, many more rings left. But no. Alright, so good. I'll go to that. Next map, piece. Okay, here's the next one. So I'm guessing we have to hit these buttons. Yep. No, oh, come on. There's one button. Boing, 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 boing. Push the button. Push, push, push the buttons. Right, there we go. So it turns out there's a whole area here we haven't even explored yet. Like, like see how it loops around? A yeah, whole different section. And there's the fishing spot that I've been so looking for. And we are out of we are out, okay. So this is the next area I found. So I had to go So it turns out there's a whole underground tunnel. If I in case I didn't show it. I mean again I kinda reacted a little weirdly to it, but Okay, in case you didn't know there was like a whole underground tunnel system here, which is actually pretty cool. Oh. Okay, I think I get it, so So this one first. I said this one first. Then, whoa! Hey, this one second. Hey, maybe I should stop boosting. I'm getting all kinds of it. And this is the last one. And boom, I got it! First try. Nice, and we got a grind reel that leads straight up there. Alright, so I don't know how to get to the fishing island because that's where I want to go next. And I think, yeah! The whole map is explored now. Fast travel to all portals is finally unlocked. Hey, I'm gonna start doing that at the start of every uh, new island. I think there's only two islands left, though, if I remember. Right, finally, after so long, we finally found F Big's fishing spot. And with the purple coins, we're gonna do the catch completion. <laughs> Not gonna mess it up this time.
Hey, Sonic. Welcome back. Hey, buddy. Welcome back, Mr. Named after your only one defining trait. Would you like to try? I'll let you borrow a rod. Yeah, so let's get all this stuff. <laughs> but the Fishopedia. Okay, in oh, interesting. So it keeps our previous one in place. Okay. Weird. Would you like to try? I'll let uh, you yeah, sure. Yeah, I know how to do it. All right. Got it. What is it? <laughs> Just a tiny fish. And again, that's a clownfish. It doesn't live in the lake. All right, so let's kind up the fish. I'm going to see if I can catch all the different fish in this pond. Oh, dang. I hooked me a, a coelacanth. Those things are supposedly extinct. I think actually scientists recently found them to still be around. And let's see, is this fish something different? Oh, it's not even a fish, it's a squid. <laughs> uh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, okay, that was a big, that had to be something big, but it gave me two uh, hoops to jump through. But, oh, hey, hey, okay, I got it. What is this thing? Oh, it's a hermit cocoa scroll. Okay, and I got 16 tokens for that, dang. Okay, so what can I do? What can I use that scroll for? I'll need to find out. I, I think it actually unlocks potentially new abilities. And we got a Gorami. Hey, okay, don't actually know what that fish is. That's really cool looking. Kind of looks like it's upside down. Oh, it got me a striped sunfish. Those things are freaking huge. Gives me Animal Crossing vibes of like. Carrying a just a big thing in your pocket. Okay, got this one. This is probably another scroll or a treasure or something. Oh, it's a treasure chest. Fantastic catch. I got three gold cards. All right, this fish. It's a okay. We caught a salmon. Don't know if that's something we caught earlier, but that's actually kind of impressive. This thing we got a what? A gold plate. What? <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting to find one of those in there. What is it? Got me a king salmon. Yeah, that's a big. Yeah, that's a big fish. You could eat. You could eat off that thing for like a month, probably. Oh, I don't know if this is a fish. I think it's a treasure. Oh, it's another chest. Hey, got myself another free gold card. Nice. Gotten me a giant tuna. <laughs> yeah, a bluefin tuna, I think is what that is. They got me a elder cocoa scroll. Oh, I got me an octopus. <laughs> and a lot of different sea creatures in this world. Oh, we caught ourselves a seahorse. I don't know how. But that's pretty damn impressive. Oh, got ourselves another sunfish. Nice. This is just a regular sunfish. Oh, what what the heck is that? I caught a chomper. <laughs> what are those small like the per <laughs> So some of Eggman's robots are down here. That's pretty funny. I mean we did find an exit goal earlier, so. Oh, I got something different. A giant isopod. How many creatures are in this pond? <laughs> uh, we caught ourselves a crab. Not a, not any specific crab, just a r general crab. <laughs> I caught myself a star post, of all things. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so why are we finding random like Mar Sonic stuff in the in the fishing pond? This is kind of cracking me up. What? We cut ourselves a silver acorn. Wh what? <laughs> who who is throwing this stuff in this pond? What the hell? Oh, they caught us a barracuda. Damn. Okay, oh, a golden coelacanth! What the heck? So there are gold forms of fish now? 
Okay, I think I didn't realize that the fishing rabbit hole, or the fishing hole, I guess is what we'll call it, is gone this deep before. Oh! <laughs> Another one of those things, it's a red spring. <laughs> I had how much of this junk is in there? It's cracking me up. Oh, oh dang! Okay, so I found a bigger chomper this time. <laughs> it's so big you can't just hold on to it from the bar. Oh, whoa! An ore fish! I recognize that thing from the start. Yeah, those things are crazy long and big. Uh, pause on that. It's just a fish. Come on. Alright, and I think that's enough fishing for now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trade a lot of my uh, tokens. I wanna take some of these egg memos. But I also want to get a lot of these, uh, seeds. Uh, I'm gonna get some- I'm gonna get power seeds. Alright, so we caught a ton of different points for all of the stuff we got. So I'm gonna use a lot of them to get, uh, a good amount of upgrades. And with that, that is all the fish caught in this area. And the number of casts we had was 35, and we got 346 fishing points, which all went to some really impressive upgrades. So now I'm gonna go to the Elder Coco and see what upgrades we can get from that. Yeah, look at that. 34 to 46 and 39 to 52. We should be way stronger now. <laughs> right, so now we go to the Elder Coco, and since we have all the, or many of the Cocos, we're gonna need to go help him. Or go have him help us, I mean. Who do we have here? Yep, I can power up everybody. So I return all the Cocos. How's that for a change? Welcome back. I shall get you more power. I'm gonna put all of it in speed. Now we're at 53 speed. 29 to 53. Okay, we must be way faster now. I, I wanna see. I wanna see for myself. Oh yeah, that certainly feels faster for sure. Oh, oh, oh and I fell to my death as always. Why, why always fall to my death? Oh my goodness. Right, and also, since I used a lot of it to upgrade on my points, I want to get this move, the homing shot, where if I press Z or midair, or and Y in midair, I can launch a volley of energy spheres at my enemies. I want to take it. I'm gonna give it a practice real quick. Oh nope. Uh. Uh, nope. Uh. Oh, okay. So press ZR and then Y. Got it. Okay. Nice! Right, I think that'll do a ton of damage. And I can't wait to see the supersonic variant of that attack as well. Right, so there's a portal here called 2-6 uh, that we didn't do. So we're gonna go do that next. And in we go! Okay, so first stop is Red Rings. Wait, wait. Oh, crap, there, there are multiple ways. Uh, this is kind of an awkward angle to also work at. Oh, what, 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 wait, was that the Red Ring? It was! Come on, higher! Okay, got it. Okay, I don't like these angles. This is kind of frustrating me. Whoa! Okay, is the red ring back here? Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. I think I saw it. And I died. Wait, wait, wait go back, go. Mm. Oh my gosh, I can't figure out what to do. Oh, no, 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 no! Whoa! Right, there we go. Gonna collect rings to do the ring challenge and finish it up. Whoa! I really hope we didn't pass the red ring there. Come on, higher! Higher, higher, higher! Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, 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 no! Oh, I lost all my rings! Oh, fudge butter, I did it again. Okay, we've gone through a lot of stuff right now, and I'm still not seeing a second red ring. Where is it? Is it back here? 
Oh, uh, a button. And... What? Uh... Okay, I'm not liking this level so far. Oh, I need that. I need those rings. I need those rings. Oh, come on. And, yes. There we go. That was easy. Ish. Okay, die. And bounce away. Okay, that whole area, I didn't see a single red ring. It's really upsetting me. Okay, there had to be one. Oh! Really? I went through all that and that was ring number two? Okay. All right, all right. Oh, there's ring number three. I see it. And... Got it. Okay, I see a button over there. I'm gonna push it. And boom! Go up, 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 up. Oh dear, I don't know which way to go. Okay, that's not a way to go. So this way it is. I don't like that I can't see the rings. Okay, okay, red ring, red rings up ahead. I don't see one. Hmm. Just be careful, be careful! Oh boy, oh boy. Oh dear. Oh, whoa, okay. Mm, Alright, keeping a watchful eye out. Just. Ready? Oh, oh, there it is. Woo! Number four is caught. Oh, whoa! No, 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 no! Okay, okay, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Okay, now switch. Now switch back. And there. Okay. Now I just want my uh, ring count back. Oh, whoa! Okay. Calm down. Calm down. I ah! No! My rings! I need those. I need those back. Ah, great. Now I feel like I lost all hands of getting the ring bonus. I got all right. That's all the red rings. Now I just gotta make it to the goal. Mm. Whoa. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. And please tell me I beat the ring challenge at least. I I got the red rings. That's nice. A hundred rings. Ugh. All right. We'll try again with the. So two minutes and twenty-five seconds. Oh boy. That's going to be a tough one. I mean, not if I'm focused, but let's do it. No, 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 no! Whoa, 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 okay. Whoa! Yikes, yikes. Okay, okay, uh... Yikes! Okay, 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 I get it. I get it. Yay! Oh, jeez. You're giving me anxiety here. Whew! Okay, okay, I get it. Speed up, speed up. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. So is there a button here? No. Okay. No! Ugh. I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it, alright. Go! Okay. I right, speed up, speed up. I gotta speed up. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. I don't know if I don't think I'm gonna make it. No, no. No! Okay, okay. Got it, got it. Whoa! Ah! No, no! I gotta hurry. I got to hurry. There's not much time left. Whoa! All right. I. I. I had it. I had a hundred. I had the rings. I had the time. Come on. Why am I laughing and crying? I don't know. Come on, Sonic, go faster! Oh, why? Why? Why did you just suddenly drift to the side there? I almost lost everything again! But I did it! S rank completed! Oh! Oh my goodness, that... That was frustrating. But if that if I'm correct, that should be all of the side loops done. But I'll probably be in I'll probably be corrected right immediately if I am wrong. Uh, nope, from the looks of it, all of the different portals are done. Alright, so we're good to go on that front. Ah, you can feel the but temperature difference. Okay, that was a little weird. Alright, so suddenly uh, he just stopped and talked about something. Alright, hey Knuckles, just wanted to talk but talk to you for a bit. You know it's been a bit since we've actually seen you. We, I mean, we had a bunch of fast traveling to do. We got way stronger and faster, and we went fishing a bunch. <laughs> and clearly, he doesn't care. Besides the Coco, these islands seem deserted, don't they? Yeah, I've seen a lot of the ancients' buildings on both islands, but nobody's home. Given their state of decay and how much nature has reclaimed them, I'd say they've been gone for a long time. Longer than any civilization we know of. I'd like to think that they simply moved on and settled somewhere else. Not that they're gone. Hmm. Some of the active technology seems built for storing and protecting the Chaos Emeralds. Comparing that to what's on Angel Island, I feel like I was drawn here for a reason. So, so some sort of relation within the Chaos Emeralds and the Akinda race. I like that we are trying to see some comparisons to, like, Knuckles people and these people. Showing how they both became dependent on the Chaos Emerald and how they both, in a way, kind of seem like guardians to them. Certainly a nice detail, for sure. Hey Sage, you big boar, what's up? Okay, that was a little mean, let me see. So, how, how's your dad doing? Is he still trapped in cyberspace? Are you still trying to figure out how to get him out? Maybe I could help you, perhaps? I mean, I don't mind, as long as he doesn't do anything evil afterwards. Again. Do not interfere with my work. Uh, I don't even know what work I'm interfering with. Look, just take a second to tell me who you are, what's going on, and why you look like you want to smite me on the spot. That is irrelevant. Knowing, not knowing. It will change nothing. There is nothing you can do. Uh, still being stubborn as always. Oh my goodness. Yeah, eventually she'll come to her senses if she develops any, that is. I mean, she is a machine after all. Well, hello again, Sage. Why don't we talk to you again? Maybe you'll feel like talking this time, or maybe you'll shut us out, like always. You know, if you're so shut out, or shut in, or whatever the term is, uh, I'll hold hey, that I'm thought. I'm willing to let bygones be bygones if you tell me how to restore my friends. Both Amy and Knuckles are all ghosty. Kind of like you. All data within cyberspace is restricted to outsiders. You see, that's the thing. They're kind of half in, half out. Can you at least tell me if they're going to be okay? Their conditions are stable. They are hovering between the digital dimension and this one. But their lives are not at risk. Oh, that's a relief. Sort of. Thanks for answering. Well, what do you know? She's coming around to us more than I thought. She's finally starting to talk about various things. At least she gave us a clear answer that they're gonna be fine. At least until we get them out. 
so the, okay, so they're not in cyberspace. They're trapped in between the real world and cyberspace. That actually makes a lot more sense than well, what I initially thought. I thought they were just trapped in cyberspace. And like they somehow had some sort of window to the outside and that was what the ghostly image was. Alright, but that okay, that makes a lot more sense. Anyways, I guess next area. If I can open the map. Let me open the map. Hey now goes we just talk to Sage for a little bit, also there's a giant shark uh, swimming in the background. Hopefully it doesn't in interrupt our conversation though. I think that's the weird thing about Guardians, is that while they're trying to kill us, they seem to be polite about conversations. Amy said her cyber cage wasn't a fun time. How was it for you? Miserable. Like a living nightmare. It was the most alone I've ever felt. And at the same time, I was drowning in terrible visions and emotions. Like I said, nightmare. Yeesh. These visions, they weren't like what Tikal showed us way back when, were they? Do these ruins sync up to when your ancestors were wiped out? I don't think so. But if you're right, and that prison was bringing back those memories, that's cruel. If I find out who designed it, they're gonna pay. I see, so... I'm guessing there's, like, is that... Is the cage, like, they were initially trapped in? I don't care right now, shark. Okay, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. Though, they're saying that the cages that they were trapped in initially, they're like living nightmares and trapped them with their emotions. Is that like a, like a protection system within the cyberspace, like, data itself? Like, it noticed that they were foreign data and therefore, like, treated it like a virus and caged it and quarantined it? In that sort of way? At least that's my working theory. I probably missed what the explanation was, but... I don't know, I feel like that's what it is. Or potentially what it could be. No, let's get a little more insight on what's going on around here. Uh, so, oh no, maybe this episode will be a bit longer than normal. That way we can ensure the cleanup is done and so we can finally move on. So, Knuckles, what's up? It's not fair. How come you get to jump in and out of cyberspace and I'm stuck halfway? Oh, well, beats me. It sounds like we all experience the dimension differently. Yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't see any way out. Your trips sound less complicated. Well, whatever. The spooky Skyboy says I just have to trash the Titans to get you guys back to normal, so we have a plan. Oh yeah? Why isn't it talking to the rest of us then? That is a very good point, actually. I mean, it probably just cares about itself, but maybe in turn it'll help us out? Like, maybe like it, it's trying to get us to help it, but in turn it'll help our friends in the process? So maybe that's a logical explanation, but I'm not sure. I mean, again, he, he does have the right idea. Can we really trust it? Is it really a good idea? Are there no, are there any negative consequences that may happen? I honestly don't know. All right, so now that we found out even more about this place, let's find out even more about this place. Yeah, I'll admit I did a, I realize I've done terrible track backtracking in this place. That's why I'm gonna fix that from now on. Look at the size of this. What do you call it? Satellite dish? It's for communications, right? Yeah, I've seen all sorts of crazy high-tech ancient tech across both islands. How can something this old be this advanced? But it's sturdy, too. I punched it. It didn't move at all. Yeah, Nux, don't punch the ruins. Once I find Tails, maybe he can use them to figure out what happened here. Hey, I already discovered that it's sturdier than anything we've encountered. I don't think this material is from this world. So you're saying potentially they are aliens. Hmm. So then what role do the Titans serve, then? Hmm. Maybe perhaps, like, how this one's flying? Do they serve as, like, a ship or something? Maybe? I don't know. Uh-oh, sumo. Oh, come on, you're not gonna trap me in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. So over the ref of a silo. Boom. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, come on. Oh, 
Right. I am. Play yourself up again. Boom! Yeah, shock him good. Oh, come on! Homing shot! Oh, that that broke him out of his of uh, his days. Oh, come on! I died. Are you serious? Oh my freaking gosh! And it forces me to fight him again. Oh, come on! Ow. Right, let's try that again. And boom! Oh. There. Oh, that, that, no, bad idea. Yeah, do it. Home and shot. Boom. How are you still up? After all that. And go. Oh dear. There you go. And you're as good as dead, too. Alright, that was actually a guardian we didn't battle yet, so. Good timing. And after all that, I actually have to go the other way, which means fighting that dude was completely pointless. Great. And I'll meet you guys there when I get there. Alright, so back up here with the yellow emerald, there's actually one more place to talk to Knuckles. Come on, let's chat with the guy. We haven't seen him in a while. I mean, we have seen him in the last episode, but it's been a while since I've talked to him. Even though it's been like five seconds. What do you think of the weird spires being used to contain the Chaos Emeralds? Contain? No. I think they're meant to protect them. Even harness their power. You've experienced yourself the limitless power of the Chaos Emeralds. Even if they didn't have them all, a couple would have provided more than enough energy to live comfortably. Enough to power the ruins, cyberspace, and I wonder, if the Ancients somehow lost their access to the Emeralds, would that have caused them to disappear? I mean, I don't think so. It's clearly still active even with all the Emeralds in hand. Then again, they could be actively draining the power of it right now. Hmm. But, I mean, it's clear that they've used the Chaos Emeralds in their time period. Alright, I'll see need to take a... Alright, so next up we're gonna be doing is finding up the... Is finding all the different Coco. So the first one that we can access is probably right over here. Alright, so the first one is over here somewhere, but... Doesn't seem like it, uh... There's an easy way to it. I don't quite know... So it's gotta be inside of this, like, little pillar of a rock island. So I'll need to find the way in. So what I'm thinking is it probably has something to do with this right here. Where we have to jump through all these hoops. And whoa! We're flying through space. Okay, yeah, I think that's correct. Okay, um... Alright. Boom. Got flung. Oh dear. Whoa. 
I made it! Okay, so that's how we got in here. And that's the first of the special Cocos. So now on to the next one. Alright, so next one is over here. And it looks like, yeah, we're gonna have to be uh, going through this part. I think is what's gonna take us over to the Coco. Oh boy. Whoa! <laughs> All right, I got it, I got it, and touchdown. Now, where do I go from here? Oh. Ow, pain. All right, let's try that again. Whoa. Ah, come on. And, oh, whoa. And fling over there. Okay, almost there. Almost at the top. And I think that's it. Hey, and they are the pirate Coco. Right. So that's the second one. Now on to the next one. Right. So this should be the area right here, from what I've been seeing. So yeah, there it is. The other special Coco, the cowboy one. Right, so my assumption is that it's this part right here. This is right next to Big's uh, fishing spot. But speaking of which, uh, don't we need to help get Big out of cyberspace? I was, gonna, I was just saying, like, Big, is, of all characters, seems to be really chillax in cyberspace. I, I mean... I don't know. I mean, do people want Big to get out of cyberspace? I personally would, because I'd rather get everybody out, but... I mean, I know Big is not the most popular character, but I don't think he deserves to be trapped in a sort of cybernetic limbo. I mean, he he's not even stuck halfway where he can even see the real world. He's just stuck there fishing in a virtual world. Where he runs a business that nobody else can participate in. I don't know, it, it just feels kind of... It just feels kind of overlooked that he's trapped there. And I... Uh, much it's overlooked as much as I undershot. All right, back up here at last. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Bad, bad, very bad. Okay, that's how you want to play. Boing, 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 and boom! Touchdown! Hey, got the next one. But, yeah, we need to help. I think we should help Big get out of there, too. Right, finally made my on to the, I think, the next Coco, which is somewhere over here. Oh, I see. Oh, that's an interesting puzzle. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? Whoa. Don't you hit me, you little... I fell... And ah, there you deserve that. Oh, finally! Right. So he's not. So he's dead. But I felt like okay. So you open the door. Woo! And I got him. And I think uh, is he the last one? Yep, he's the last Coco. All right. So we got all the special Cocos now. Alright, so let's see what he has to say now that we found all the special ones. My word, the previous Elder, it's been a while. Got a boost gauge raised, nice. Now, how's that for a change? Welcome back, my dear Coco. Alright, I say, let's do ring capacity. <laughs> By only one level, wow. <laughs> You have freeze max capacity of your ring. It's reinvigorating, isn't it? Yep, it's fine. Oh yeah, now we really have a giant boost meter. It looks like the stamina bar from Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Alright, so I think the very last thing we can do before anything else is that now we can do some of the action. So now we need to do some of the... Uh, the uh, music notes that we need to find. So that should be the very last thing.
And so the first one is the top of this piece of ruins here. I don't know why I didn't see it. It's Ares Island first uh, movement. Right, so the second one is over here on this part of the map. I, I teleported to the Elder Coco here, so we're just gonna figure out how to get over to that spot. And I guess that's one way to do it. Alright, so it's the top of this rock here. Alright, so yeah, these are pretty easy to find. Oh, I say that and I'm gonna totally jinx myself. Alright, so next to the area where we fought that sumo earlier, if we go down this edge here, the music note is right there. Oh, theme of Sonic Colors! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Whoa, whoa, okay. Alright, so as for the last one, uh, when we, if you go on to this complex area right here, or this particular piece, it's on top of this little pipe here. I don't know how to initially get up there, but I just boosted up and I was able to get up there, so... I believe... That should be all of the sounds now. Yep, oh, nope, there's one left. Uh, you can see it right here. Alright, I'll... Oh, no, there's two left. Sorry, I am I am way off. Eh. Oh. Alright, so if we go back to the area where we caught the one ninja Coco, it's actually right here, uh, on top of the cliffside. So we got Mushroom Hill. Nice. That sounds more like a Mario song, but I, I know which area they're talking about. Okay, so the final one, right, is along the giant wall that I think you got a massive hole through it. As you climb up on one of the sides, you can get the music note there. It's Ares Island, third movement. So we've so we've come the desert of all the different stuff in this area, and now all that's left is primarily the action challenges, and finally to deal with the dragon in the island. So that being said, next time on Sonic Frontiers, we're finally gonna finish the last of the challenges, and also finally move on from to, to the next island by battling the Titan. See you guys then.